Hey everybody, Jared here for Masonic Curators and I want to share with you something that I picked up off of the internet. I'm sure you've seen folks like this at various different groups and things on Facebook. People who don't really seem to have any tie to the fraternity but they go to auctions or estate sales and they pick up things related to Freemasonry because they know there are people out there like me and maybe like you that are looking for them. Well this is one of those pieces. I have here a handmade what appears to be soapstone keystone or copestone if you prefer and I know the lighting makes this very hard to show so I'm going to overlay some images uh, to kind of show what this is it appears to be something that was individually handmade by a brother not something that was mass produced and on one side you can see the typical symbology that is used inside of the mark master degree which here in the United States is a part of the York Rite and the Royal Arch chapter it has the square and compasses in the center, a G up in the top left corner, a delta up in the top right, and a blazing sun down at the bottom. On the other side, it has a sprig of acacia on the inside of a five-pointed star that points upwards, and in the corners up at the top, appear to be either light emanating or wind blowing. I'm not sure what that symbolism is meant to be. And it's very hard to make it out, but down toward the bottom there is a key, a blazing heart, and a sword. So it's interesting to see this, and certainly some brother put a lot of thought and effort into it, but I don't have any prominence. I don't know what specifically the brother was going for. There are some things that seem obvious. Uh, we have heard plenty of times that the letter G uh, here in the United States and most English speaking uh, jurisdictions are going to associate that with the name of God and the Delta in all jurisdictions can be recognized as a symbol for deity and the same with the sun blazing, a symbol of light and knowledge also associated with deity. And I think we can fairly well explain if you are a master mason you should be well acquainted with the sprig of acacia, a five-pointed star, a sword, a blazing heart, and a key. But those are not normally associated on a keystone. So I'm not sure uh, if he was just making a memento for himself, something that he could keep and those symbols meant the most to him, or they just fit well, I, I just don't know. But nonetheless, it is a treasure. As far as I know, it is one of a kind, and I am happy that I can now retain this and hold on to it and treasure it, and hopefully uh, the brother doesn't mind me doing so. So there you are. I enjoyed sharing that with you, and I hope that you enjoyed it. A custom handmade keystone. I've heard other people suggest that uh, the size of it, you can see it's about the size of my hand. My hands are not very large. Um, that it could be used as like a fob, like on a pocket watch or something like that. But I just can't see somebody carrying that around day in and day out. Um, soapstone is used because it is easy to engrave and I would just imagine unless you're an extremely careful person you would not want that to snap in half one day. So I'm guessing he carried it uh, either to only his Royal Arch meetings or to degrees that were being done or used it for his own personal reflection and never took it out of the house or maybe was studying with some other brethren. So if you've seen something like that before, let me know. I'd be very interested to hear about it. Thanks so much for watching, and thanks for being a part of Masonic Curators. Make sure that if you have something special to share, that it gets shared with everybody, and that we can keep a record of it for all time. We'll see you next time. Bye.